Hey there, welcome to blog.web6.org. In today's video, I'm going to um, have a quick look about WordPress new coming default theme, which is called 2012 theme. So it's actually uh, will be released when WordPress 3.4 out, but at the moment we just can uh, install a developing version and then we can um, just take a sneak peek really fast. So I've managed to install WordPress developing version which is 3.4 alpha on my local host and then uh, if we go now to appearance and then themes you see that I'm now using 2011. So by default 2011 that you already know and then if I scroll down you have 2010 that you already know as well and then the third one, the new one, it's called 2012. So I assume that it will be the uh, default theme of WordPress 3.4 when it's released. So let's uh, activate this theme to take a look what is inside. So I activate it and now I'm going to visit my site and here it is. It's kind of cool and uh, what I like is the uh, first impression is when you click on the post you will see that you will have sidebar by default and this is really nice so you don't have to edit some files to display your sidebar and if I go to a uh, sample page or usually about me page you also seeing your sidebar and it's clean and uh, let's uh, take a look in the other uh, features or options so I go back to my uh, dashboard and then you have that option widgets menus background and header and maybe it will be uh, having another options which we still don't know yet so let's go to widget first you see that the first widget is a uh, search and now let's say I'm going to delete it that you already know that you can always uh, put the new search widgets into your sidebar and it has main sidebar so it's it's clean but we still don't know maybe they will add some sidebar here on the right side but let's say now uh, refresh my browser and the search button is gone so we we've already tried the uh, widgets option let's go to menus it's not different than other uh, let's say menu name is menu one create menu and I will say menu first and a uh, few all select all and add to menu and let's say we make drop down menu so for example sample page going to be uh, on home so save menu go back to my browser at the moment sample page is still here but now if we uh, refresh our browser if I click on home it will uh, show sample page as drop down menu and let's say we now want to um, make this not drop down menu but the first one and I'm going to navigation label like welcome night and save menu and now refresh my browser again so it's it's in the top it's in the front and the home is actually the block so you will see that the menu is uh, not different than the other versions of 2011 or 2010 so now uh, we go to after menu we go to background and it's quite um, it's not so different than others you can upload your image by browsing and uploading to be a background or you can choose your color by selecting this uh, color swatch uh, and then save changes and you will see um, the difference so let's say we're not going to upload the image but we're going to select a color save changes and refresh and you see that color background is there it's not perfect yet but I already like it and then now we go to after background we go to header now though you can now upload an uh, image uh, which is uh, suggested is uh, 960 pixels times 250 pixels so we can uh, we can browse and upload image and we can choose random image as well if you want to display random image so uh, and you can display text which is this you can display or hide it and uh, let's say I'm going to browse a image for background which I will use maybe around uh, 2012 
uh, header image so I'm going to uh, application and mem so uh, you can upload any image you want but this is just a demo so WP test content and themes I'm going to borrow 2011 image image and header so not the thumbnails I'm just going to uh, to upload this uh, image notice that I have now 1000 times 288 pixel and this one is 660 times 250 is the recommendation but I uh, for this demo I just want to upload this and we will see what happens it's quite bigger than this I'm going to click open and upload using it now you have the ability to crop or to move uh, this uh, your mouse and to see which area that you want to upload let's say I want to have this I now to crop and publish and you see that now I have uh, my header let's say now this one is my site I hit refresh and I will have my uh, image notice that the menu now is on the top and I like the font and it supports mobile uh, devices so when someone visit your site it will show uh, the proper font for them and uh, we will see what's going to come and I'm already excited with it so thank you for watching and take care see you in the next video goodbye